Hi, in this video we are going to continue to learn about functions and return values. So remember, functions take in parameters and can give back results called return values. So let's revisit our sum function but write it with return values. So we have a function called sum, it takes in parameters first and second, which are the two numbers that we want to add. We'll declare a variable called total, which we set equal to first plus second, and then return total, where we're going to return that sum back to the caller. So let's look at it with a different diagram. Sum is the function. Sum is like a machine, and something comes into the machine and something goes out. So our parameters are 5 and 8. 5 and 8 go in, and 13 comes out. That's the return value. So let's look at how we would call a function with a return value. So we have var result, and that is equal to sum 5 comma 8. So now result has the value 13. A slightly more interesting example, we have var x equals 14 and y equals 2. Now we say var total equals sum xy, and total now has the value 16. So let's go into our editor and write up the sum function and try testing it out. So function sum first second. So those are our parameters. And now we say var total equals first plus second. And then we return total. So this line, again, is the return statement. It takes the result of this function and gives it back to the caller. So what is the caller? Well, let's say up here we write var result equals sum 5, 8, print line result. This is the caller, right? We're calling it from up in the start function. And then down here, this is the actual function that's being called. So when we return this value, we're actually going back to the caller and almost substituting that result in. So when we run it, we see we get 13. Now, if we try again, there, let's say x equals sum 10, 20, print line x, we see that we get 30 printed out as well. So let's look at another function called add1. So Right here we have function add 1, it takes in a value x and then just returns x plus 1. So whatever number it gets in, it just gives out a number that's 1 bigger. So here we see if we declare var x equal to 5 and var y is equal to add 1, x, y now has 6. And if we say var z equals add 1 11, z now has 12. So let's go into the code editor and write the add 1 function. So function add 1 x and we'll just return x plus 1. So now if we call um, var y equals add 1 of 100 when we print line y we also we get 101. So we try it again if we get var z equals add 1 of y when we print line z we get 102. 